Okay. Here's how I hooked up the Z bar through the the hole that is on the panel already. This is how it looks like basically. Gonna be one here and one on this hole here. I have the option of going to this hole and that hole, but I didn't like the long distance between the braces that will give the panel the flexibility in case of the wind or vibration. With this hole here and this hole, which is about three feet, it gives it a solid, rigid connection to the roof. And then over here I made these. These are quarter inch holes an inch apart. So I made 12 of them for the five pa the panels. This is how it's gonna sit on the shingles. This can sit here Uh, this one's going to be for the next panel and uh, they're going to be connected or drilled to the roof by these bolts what I like it's got the weatherproof the waterproof gasket on it I know this is for metal but the reason I bought it was it had the gasket on it and once you drill it through the roof it seals the hole so the water won't leak into your roof and it has the drill bit on it so once you align your lines on the roof you just drill them in and you don't have to worry about it these are number 12 two inches they're zinc and they may rust but I'll worry about it when they rust and they're gonna look like this like that and that much is gonna go through your roof, through your rafters, or the supports you have. And you can see the gasket there is going to seal the top of it. And also, I put silicone here all the way so it will seal the shingles. And it's going to sit like this. So when the water is going down, it's from the rain, it's not going to go in through any possible leaks that may be around the, the bolt. As I said, this is a, I bought a, like 10 feet of this from the metal store, it's one inch by one inch and I cut them in 4 inch so the weight of the panel will be distributed in a big area so it won't sink on the on the roof these are the bolts quarter inch by half that tighten the Z to the frame of the panel and it gives a good clearance for cooling and the clearance of the box from your roof and these are from Home Depot they're called corner braces they're four in each pack 
so each of them is for one panel two inch and a half that you bent this much of it to make a Z channel out of them they're like a corner you take one out they don't want to work with me okay this is what they look like and then you bend that much of it and they do your job they're this very good price for fixing this on your roof instead of paying tons of money for their solar rails and amount of the money they ask these packages was like three four dollars this cost me like five bucks we're seeing hundred or hundred and fifty dollars or two hundred dollars they're asking for their solar panel fixtures they're nice they're good they're practical but the money you save here you can buy batteries and cables and other stuff again I wish you all good Christmas happy new year cheers to you all and have a good one thank you for watching bye